That's a tune called Geese in the Bog. It's a great standard session tune, but it's a little bit unusual because it's in the key of C, and there just aren't that many tunes uh, written in C, or at least natively in C. It's also played in D, which I'll hit on at the very end. I, I heard it just recently that way, and it took me a second to even figure out what tune it was, uh, and it's kind of cool, so I'll run that for you here just so you get an idea of what that sounds like. If you want to go that route, typically played in C, that's how we're going to break it down first. Let's jump on the A part. section I'll run that again now your C you might play it this way you might play it that way you might play it this way there's lots of different ways to play C natural figure out what works for your whistle those are kind of the three that I'm most familiar with forked fingering probably the least common I think I don't know let me know let me know how you guys play it I usually play it like this for reasons which I will get to later here we go again basic melody Second half starts the same way, and it's really just the ending that's different. Just kind of the last half of that phrase. I'll run the whole A part all together so you can get an idea of the whole thing here. The B part starts on the C natural as well, but goes up into the second octave, typical for a tune like this. That's the first half, second half, just like the A part is similar in the first half and the second half is a bit different. So here we go with that. You can see it just lands on that C natural there. finish up the tune. I'll run the whole B part all together so you get that. Ornaments wise, one of the cool things about this tune is that there's so many C naturals, there's a good chance to practice that C natural tap, which we'll get to in a sec. Right off the bat though, that's usually what I'll do for those first few notes, taps on E, just as a nice kind of hollow sound as opposed to a cut. That always just seemed kind of awkward, so I do like cutting that G, somehow it just seems to fit better. Otherwise, basic melody notes, except for the A that I landed on. You can do taps, you can do rush short roll. You're coming from the G, so I'll usually short roll that. 
could slide it. That works too. Those are a couple things that I like to do with that. There's really not much else to the A part. It's a lot of just simple taps, but the B part, a lot of things you can do there. So you're starting on the C natural. Uh, I'll tongue those just to get that rhythm down, the accent down right, and then cut that G. Now you can uh, tap the A. I'll tap that and then I do that, that kind of a crossing noise thing to the G. It just has a sort of a neat little slidey effect. So you're, you're bouncing off that and cutting with your tongue or, or tongue to interrupt the air. So when I play that E, as I go from the G to the E, I'm bouncing this finger as well. That's how I do it slowly. So it's one of those that if you pop it quickly, it's just a nice little subtle thing. Long roll the second time through. You can hold out that note rather than doing that whole phrase. Those two seem to be kind of interchangeable, at least the way I hear it. Um, you can do a long roll on that G. That phrase that kind of falls down the scale, I like hitting that C natural tap. Just a cool way to cut that C. And then I have a short roll to finish it. That's how I play this tune. There is an option to play it in the key of D major. It just has sort of a different sound. So it's kind of a neat change. I don't know how frequently that's played. The person I got it from, I can't remember where she got her setting. It may be played fairly often, I guess, but um, it, it popped up recently. And I thought, well, that's kind of a cool one to, to mess around with. So exercise to the listener. If you're so inclined, feel free to play it in D. Check it out. Otherwise, hope this was of some value. Hopefully you guys dig this. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.